Hi everybody, it's the Guru. Hope everybody's been well, fine and happy. And as I always say, I hope that you've found somebody that you can relate to or your spiritual match, which is a good and beautiful thing. I just had something I was just thinking about and I wanted to put it out there because, I don't know, it's important to me and it made me feel happy and I thought maybe it might make some people out there feel a bit happy too, you know, and um, I just, you know, every every day I wake up and I'm thankful for what life I have and who I am and where I live and everything else that goes with the parcel of living. But, you know, sometimes we're here on this mortal planet Earth and we're not so happy, you know, we're tormented in so many ways, life of hell, you know. And I know, you know, everybody goes through so much through life in different ways and we tend to be very critical of ourselves and tend to expect um, too much. And then that comes a feeling of demand. You have to demand so much out of yourself. You're, you're pressured and Everything, as I said, everything in the environment, from family to life to living to everything, impacts that. And we don't have a feeling of being calm, you know, calm within ourselves. And um, we need to, because if you command what you expect out of life, as we say, the old saying, there's no, you know, uh, rosy ending with the white picket fence and the perfect husband or the perfect life or case rah, case rah. And it's very true. And I tend to look at life like a coat. You can only do so much. And then at the end of the day, you've got to learn to take it off. Because what you expect, don't command because at the end of the day, that feeling of being calm, you know, the old saying is, my old saying is that I look and I've got an Eden to glory and everything I think and everything I do. But I've got to have that feeling to have that vision. And I do. And I don't command anything. I expect out of life like everybody else does. We uphold our responsibilities, case ra. But at the end of the day, don't feel that what's happened in life is ever your fault. Because if you give it its ultimate best, and no matter what, you your expectations, if they don't pay off, don't feel that you've failed because then you won't have a feeling of being calm. And with that will come a feeling of being drained constantly, an expectation, a command, no feeling of being calm. So feel it like a jacket. At the end of the day, what do I say? You've got to learn to take your worries off like a coat. It'll be there tomorrow morning. It'll be there the next day. So if you can feel that and know that and just put that on your conscience, guys, out there because, you know, this mortal planet, it's, it's not easy. Believe you, me. But if you feel that and you want and that calmness should be there for every person on this planet and majority of the time I see and it's not. And it's sad. Because remember, your expectations become your demands. And then that comes your prison, you know, your shackles, your chains, the burdens you carry, the conscience you carry. Don't do it, guys. Okay? Feel the calmness. Your expectations, yes, but do not let them make your life as a demand because you won't have that calmness and as I said majority of the time I'm not being a downer but 
what we all expect in our heads and in our hearts do not play out in life. Quote me if I'm wrong. But anyway, guys, feel the calmness. As I said, I have my Eden of glory. Every night I go to sleep. It's not a lot, but what's in it is peace and harmony for me, for my life, who I am. And I got that calmness. And it's beautiful. I've had to fight for it. It's not easy. But anyway, look after yourself, guys. And as I say, always, always try and find somebody. Don't make it, though. Don't make it that you're searching, you know. And it's like a little book you tick off everybody you see and do and whatever else. It will come to you. But you must be a window shopper, remember. You must actually pause in life and see before you get involved, remember. Okay, guys, from the Guru, look after yourself. God bless. And until then, bye.